Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Hey, stop that. We already used that opening gag a few weeks ago for Star Trek. For all that, Kai literally used the song in the episode. I get to reuse the joke. Fine. Just make sure you don't let all the rum out of the bottle this time. I'm Gayfesh, and today we'll be talking For All Mankind, Season 3, Episode 4, Happy Valley. But before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Avast me hearties, spoilers off the starboard bow! The race to Mars is on, with Helios' Phoenix appearing to take the lead. Just as Helios is getting ready to pop the champagne, NASA reveals a dirty little secret about Sojourner. It unfurls some giant solar sails, which will get them to Mars eight days before anyone else. It makes for a great reveal, particularly as Danny is blasting Pirates of the Caribbean ride music during the unfurling, but I can't imagine NASA was developing solar sails and literally nobody knew about it. President Wilson is dealing with protesters angry that helium-3 fusion reactors have taken away the livelihood of a lot of fossil fuel employees, and the Speaker of the House who is threatening a government shutdown if she doesn't agree to Congress dipping into NASA's revenue for general budgetary purposes. She decides to make a trip to JSC. Surprisingly, Marco is not happy she's there, and tells Aleda that she's no longer one of us, and isn't to be trusted. Jimmy Stevens is at a protest outside JSC, and gets recruited by some conspiracy nuts led by a former Moon Marine, who is convinced that what happened last season is a cover-up for the real story. I'm sure we'll get more on that later, but if they get the son of the astronaut couple on their side, it could prove to be a thorn. Danny Stevens is having issues dealing with others on the Phoenix. He walks in on one of the crew reenacting a scene from the docudrama about his parents, and corners him telling him to reenact the scene where they die on the moon. Ed puts a stop to it, but I don't think Ed is the right guy to get Danny back on the straight and narrow. He's too much of a good old boy for the job. With Russia in dead last, they make a dangerous move and push their nuclear engines beyond safety margins to make a mid-journey burn. Unfortunately, the reactor goes into meltdown with their trajectory overshooting Mars. Ed decides he's going to take Phoenix to go rescue the cosmonauts, and sends word back home to Helios. Dev is starting to show his asshole billionaire side. He threw a tantrum at Mission Control and smashed the monitor because Helios isn't going to be first to Mars anymore, and there's no safe way to retake the lead, and pressures his democratically-led company to vote not to rescue the cosmonauts. Ed decides he's going to do it anyway, but Dev pushes a software update which locks them out of flight control. The rescue mission is now left to Sojourner. Since both Sojourner and Mars 94 are using the same fuel source, Danny is considering a refueling during the rescue operation which would give them enough to both rescue the crew and still land on Mars in a joint NASA-Soviet mission. This is going to cause some problems for one of the Sojourner crew though, as he's the Soviet deserter from last season, and the cosmonauts do not look kindly on him even as he's saving their lives. Aleda detects a buildup in pressure on one of the Soviet fuel tanks, but the light lag from Houston to Sojourner is five minutes, and by the time her warning gets there, it's too late. One of the fuel lines on the Soviet craft ruptures during the rescue operation, causing a collision between the two craft. One cosmonaut and two astronauts are killed in the ensuing chaos, and with a cliffhanger ending, we don't know what's going to happen to the remaining crew and their mission. So that's it for this week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It just occurred to me that they may have written Molly out of the show, because we haven't seen her since episode 2. My hopes for a return of Lane may be forever dashed. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and share the video with your friends. Subscribe to my Patreon to get shouted out in future videos. Check out my Bandcamp for banging tunes, including all the tracks you heard in this video. Follow me on Twitter at GayestFesh, and don't forget to check out my podcast, The Rest of Both Worlds, where I go through Star Trek The Next Generation with a friend who's never seen it. Thank you to all my patrons, with a special shout out to Piftle Cakes and Renee Vorbeck. Your support is greatly appreciated. See you all in the next video.